Welcome, friends, to Crazy Women Country, where women's voices matter. We bring you the greatest female voices in the music industry, from the artists, songwriters, and producers, to managers and executives, and all the women who make the music industry what it is today. Thank you for joining us. Welcome, friends. This is Donna of Crazy Women Country and... I'm Paula. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome. Um, today we have Brittany McLaren with us. How are you doing? I am great. How are you guys doing? Awesome. We're crazy. Can you tell? <laughs> <laughs> yes, crazy. And, and glad you joined us for our craziness. Yes. Yes. Well, thanks for having me. I'm all about some crazy. <laughs> good, good. So tell all our crazy fans, uh, who is Brittany McLaren? Oh, wow. Um, that's kind of complex. Um, <laughs> no, I am a, a Southern girl. I'm originally from North Carolina. I live here in Nashville. Um, I've been living here for 14 years. Um, and uh, singer songwriter, I started singing when I was about nine or 10 years old um, in public. Of course, I sing prior to that, um, just at church. Um, and um, when I moved here, I know I didn't know anyone but one person, um, and she was a music industry vet, so she, you know, introduced me to some folks and helped me to get networking and um, kind of get the ball rolling. Um, so I've, I've been here performing and recording and writing um, for the past 14 years, and I say 14, it will be 14 July 5th. That's when I moved here um, in 2007. Um, yeah, I'm, I work. I am a new realtor. Um, I have a cat named Ozzy. Uh, I love to do DIY projects. If you follow my Instagram or my Facebook, you'll see I post those from time to time. Um, I love to garden. Um, decor, anything decor related, um, home interior decor. I love things like that. Um, which is partly why I got into real estate. Um, yeah, I love family time. I'm actually driving home tomorrow um, to be with my family. I haven't seen them since Christmas. So um, I figured if I were to start a new job soon, which I'm going to probably do that, um, I had an interview today, as you all know, um, it will limit my time and seeing my family. So um, going to North Carolina to visit them and maybe get some beach time in. Who knows? Perfect. That sounds like fun. Too. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Especially with North Carolina Beach. Florida's oh, too nice. hot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, it's it's spring, so it's not quite that suffocating humidity that North Carolina can have um, most of the summer. So kind of nice to feel the breeze and not be so hot. <laughs> <laughs> sounds good sounds good so tell um everybody about your most recent single wanted um well wanted i wrote with jonathan dean and andrew beeson um they're a couple of guys that um i wrote a lot of my songs with um and i wrote it at a time where um we actually all well one of them was married so I guess he's not really included in this, but um, one of the guys, um, we kind of were going through some of the same situations and, or had been in, in the past. Um, and, you know, I had a, a particular situation. And so we, we took our experiences and kind of formulated this song because, you know, a lot of times you're the person or me, the per being the person in the, the relationship with someone and all you want is for them to be the good person. Finally, I found the good person, you know, the, you know, the one or whatever. Um, and that, that's really, that's really all you want. And then it turns out same old thing, you know, it's, um, you know, you're left disappointed and you just, they didn't live up to your expectations. And, and so we tried to like put that into the song and make it, make it kind of like a double meaning of, you know, all I wanted was this, but I was never the one you wanted. Yeah. Um, so 
Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's one of my favorite ones. I'm a big fan of ballads and I'm a big fan of just like the sad songs. I don't know why, you know, you'd think you'd be a fan of the happy songs, but I like the emotion that comes out um, in ballads. And I love singing this song and the harmonies that go along with it. And um, over this pandemic, you know, we've been doing a lot of um, the virtual uh, performances and uh, recordings, you know, we have like the little boxes and everyone's doing a, their own instrument or singing in the different boxes. And so we decided to do one of those for this and do an acoustic version. One of the songwriters, Andrew, he was like, I just love this song acoustic. You know, we should, you should all, you should think about recording it acoustic. And I was like, you know, it's a great idea. Why not? You know, we're stuck at home. So, um, why not do that? So we did. And I just, I love the way it turned out. Um, it hits a little different than the fully produced version. Mm. So. Yeah. Yeah. Fantastic. I love that song. It's absolutely fantastic. I have to say. So, <laughs> who are some of the women that have inspired you to do country music? Like, who are some of your sheroes? Yeah. Um, gosh, I can remember uh, when I was little, um, it started out really not even country artists. It started out as being Celine Dion and Whitney Houston and um, Tony Braxton. I just, I loved the tone and texture of female voices and I loved the big belters. Mm -hmm. And I just, I thought it was just so cool. And I, I, I was like, I want to be that person someday. And that was even before I started singing. Um, at that point, I guess I really didn't know that I was any good at it because um, I had never really performed seriously other than like youth choir or something. And all kids do that sort of thing. Um, at least in the South, they do. Um, and so once I realized that I could sing, that's when I got into the different genres. And I was like, oh, country. And you know, then it was like Alison Krause and Martina and Leanne Rimes and, you know, those powerful powerful voices and um Shania Twain you know she was the first song one of her songs was the first song that I sang out in public <laughs> so you know that definitely has a place in my heart um but yeah I think it was just m mostly the women who had just strong booming voices just mm -hmm. something about it I don't, just had me <laughs> it's amazing. I love Tony Braxton I think she's fantastic yeah Texture. I'm surprised more people haven't said her. You know, obviously people say Celine Dion, Whitney Houston, they are real sort of yeah. powerhouses. But you know, I think you know she's up there with them. But uh, oh, know, for sure, so. absolutely. I think she has one of those most distinct voices too. Like you, you know, it's her when she sings. You know, it's just that. Yes. Yeah. That's what I liked about her. It was almost like a leathery, like. Um, just uh, well yeah just the texture of her voice and how it's low she has like a, a low register but it just you when she starts singing you listen sort oh, of yeah. thing. and um you got to respect that in an artist oh, so totally, totally i loved her song on break my heart i think that yes. was one of those amazing <laughs> songs yes <laughs> there you go see perfect <laughs> So <laughs> now we've been through these amazing women. This is when we have fun. Yay! Yay! <laughs> so this is the quick fire question apart. Okay, so people, it, these are just questions for people to get to know you as a person, and um, they can find how they connect with you. So it's you know it's all good fun. It's all good fun. <laughs> Nothing too scary. We hope. <laughs> Keep on my toes. <laughs> oh, totally. I can't get too settled with us. <laughs> okay, so early bird or night owl? Um, night owl for sure. Perfect. What sitcom family would you be a member of? Oh, Brady Bunch. <laughs> I love that. That's so cool. Um, <laughs> Favorite season? Oh man. Oh, I think spring. Yeah, because you're like you're you're leaving winter behind, and it's an exciting time when you first start feeling that warm air. Look, that's a great word. Isn't it? Um, what's the weirdest thing a fan has ever done for you? Hmm. Um, I don't know. 
if it's weird, but it is different. I've never had anyone else do this. Um, after a show, when I finished performing, we did a show. It was at a restaurant and it had a, a stage in the restaurant. And um, we were, it, it was closing down and there was a table right in the front. And he had written like this beautiful poem and like all these, had drawn like all these designs on this napkin um, on his table while I was performing and had signed it and everything. And I still actually have it framed at my parents' house um, in our office at my parents' house. But yeah, I was just, I was like, gosh. And he, obviously he did that while I was singing because it, it was, you know, specific to me. So I knew it wasn't just like some generic thing he just whipped out of his pocket, but um, <laughs> I just thought it was very creative and very thoughtful. That's amazing. That's so cool. Yeah. Um, boots or heels? Heels. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. Favorite drink? Okay, so I'm not going to go alcoholic. I'm going to go, I am obsessed with bubbly. bubbly. I don't drink soft drink, aren't they? Do you have a favorite What's flavor? That? Yes, lime. Yeah, I'm not a lime fan. I'm, I'm, I'm not a lime fan. <laughs> That's so cool. That's so good. Yeah. Um, favorite holiday? Christmas, for sure. My birthday is December 23rd, so I mm. love everything about that season. Really? My my birthday is December thirteenth, so oh. I'm doing that one. See? Yeah. Okay. Um, favorite animal? Cat. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, you're right. You got two. You got. Yeah. You got both. <laughs> if you could add someone to Mount Rushmore, who would it be and why? Oh gosh, Mount Rushmore. Who would I add? Hmm. You know, I'm just going to jump on the bandwagon here and just say Dolly. I mean, I think she's just amazing. She does so much, not only for country music, but just for humanity in general. So, yeah. Why not? <laughs> yes. Just imagine her up there. She yeah, goes, right? We just got to start the petition now. Let's do it. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do that. Exactly. Um, what was the first concert you went to? Um, I believe that was a Kenny Chesney concert when I was in high school, I think. I went to, I was obsessed with Kenny Chesney at one point in time. And so I think I went to three of his concerts all while I was in high school. Um, yeah. Perfect. That's cool. <laughs> What's your favorite color? I struggle with this because sometimes I'm like, I don't really know if I have a favorite color. I used to always say when I was younger, way younger, purple but that's definitely not my favorite color now I think it's blue like shades of blue <laughs> <laughs> the most random answer hey it could have been white too you know, you ever know? <laughs> it's yeah. all the colors right isn't that right right so um what was the best thing before sliced bread oh gosh the best thing before sliced bread mm -hmm. Potatoes? <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> I love these answers. like, what do we say? Yeah, I don't. It works. It's just one of those crazy questions. Huh? Yeah. You if you could talk answer. to anyone, dead or alive, who would it be, and what would you want to talk about? Um. Hmm. Gosh. Probably someone with music. So I'm going to go with. So, um, Whitney Houston. Um, I know she struggled most of her adult life with addiction, but I would just want to talk to her about, you know, being an artist when she was younger and, and how that, you know, how, how she dealt with that and um, what, you know, to see like if her frustrations and her highs and her lows were pretty similar, which I'm, I would imagine they probably are to most artists. Um, just kind of just, to get her take on the industry when she was just starting out. Yeah. So if you weren't doing music and real estate and things would happen, what would you want to do? <laughs> <laughs> um, so I think it'd be twofold. There's two things that I would want to do. I'd want to be an actor 
Or if go out of the, that realm of things, I'd want to be some sort of like designer of like maybe homes or um, I wouldn't say decor because I mean, I could totally do that. Um, but maybe like, des- yeah, design homes and, and the floor plans. Nice. That would be cool. Yeah, definitely cool. <laughs> If you were a Disney character, what character would you be? Um, oh, is it uh, Daisy Duck? I think I'd be Daisy Duck. A classic Disney character. So cool. I love yeah. it. <laughs> Why am I asking you all of these strange questions? To get to know me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what's your favorite snack? Anything chocolate, chocolate cake, chocolate brownies, chocolate ice cream, anything. I love chocolate. <laughs> as long as it's chocolate. <laughs> as long as it's chocolate. <laughs> Count me in for that one. Yeah. So hypothetically, yeah, yeah. hypothetically, if someone came to you and said they need to hide a body, do you know a good place? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Um, no, I would say I don't want any part of that. Take that elsewhere. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> what would be a good theme song for your life or for this moment in your life? Um, hmm. I don't know. <laughs> uh, maybe. Yes. Cool. I love that song. <laughs> That's great for a theme song. It yeah. is, yeah, totally. So tell me, what song should I listen to before I die? Oh. I'd say anything, Alison Krauss. Anything. Pick one. They're all great. Yeah. Um, you know, those her songs are timeless. Mm -hmm. Uh, I don't think they ever, I honestly don't think they, you know, most country songs, you can put them in a decade. You can place them on a timeline of when they were recorded, but her music is just like, it doesn't, it's not dated. I, I, you can't really date it. And, um, it's just one of those, she's one of those artists that all of her songs have a way of, um, speaking to you at whatever time, whatever you're going through in your life. And, um, I tend to, and this also, you know, I, I've said, I like sad songs. Um, but even when I'm sad, I like to listen to her sad songs. Like, like I just, and it doesn't put me in a worse mood. It actually just makes me feel better. And I just think it's her voice and her soothing sound. Mm. But yeah. Anything else across. Perfect. One last question. Mm-hmm. Who is your favorite CWC host? I can't choose. It has to be both of you. <laughs> you both collectively are wonderful. Perfect. I love that. <laughs> well, thank you. Thank you. We'll, we'll both add one more score to our little names, you know. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, so tell us, what, has, what have you got planned for the rest of 2021? Um, so I'm currently right now working on a, a single and the plan is it will be out in May. Um, so I was actually just talking about that with the person um, who's going to be producing and mixing it just a second ago. Um, so uh, working on that and the plan is to have an EP hopefully by the end of the year. I don't know if that's going to happen with just the way the world is at the moment, um, trying to work through COVID type stuff. But um, yes, I, I'm, I want to put out new music besides just this one single. Um, but I'm kind of, I'm moving my music in a, in a little bit of a different direction. It's still country, obviously. Um, but I've been doing more pop country um, the past four or five years. And I want to move back to um, some of the more traditional sounds that I started out with. So um, that's kind of where we're 
with this new single, what that's going to be sounding like. So um, not a total change up, but just getting back to my roots and what I grew up listening to and singing um, when I first started out as an artist. Perfect. Sounds amazing. So we look forward to May, hopefully. Yes. Possibly. Yeah, it, it would definitely be out May because of the type of song that it is. Oh. <laughs> yeah. You got a little clue there, guys. You need to figure this out. <laughs> well, excited uh, for this new song now. <laughs> more excited now. We're all yeah. excited. But uh, yeah. <laughs> so thank you so, so much for joining us on this crazy ride. Yes. Very cool to have you on board. It's been a pleasure. Thank you for having me. Good. Good, good. We look forward to the new music. Um, obviously, if you want to know more about Brittany, check out all her socials. She has a website, Instagram, Twitter, all the fun stuff. So all the things. All the things. <laughs> <laughs> She's everywhere. Go and check her out yeah. and find out more about her. That'd be so cool. <laughs> Perfect. So, yeah, thank you very much for joining us today. Yes, thank you so much for having me. If you enjoyed today's episode of Crazy Women Country, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Be sure to click the subscribe button for new interviews weekly. And thank you, friends, for joining us today on Crazy Women Country, where women's voices matter.